I'm literally obsessed with this salad. G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam's Home Kitchen where I bring to you budget-friendly recipes with sustainability in mind. So it is about spring now in Australia. Everything is warming up, but what I'm most excited about spring is the variety of vegetables that's going to become available. So right now we've got zucchini, that's about 60, 70 cents a kilo. And then we've got tomato, also just under a dollar a kilo. All these are super hearty. All these are really kind of meaty kind of vegetables. And the salad I'm going to show you today, I've been eating it every second day and I'm not even upset. It's consisted of zucchini and tomato as a base and on top of that, a choice of carb. I'm using pearl couscous today. They are so fun to work with. And obviously you can swap it up with likes of quinoa, lentil, even brown rice or some beans and they all, all work really, really well. Salad doesn't have to be boring, doesn't always have to be lettuce or just leafy greens it can be hearty it can be filling and cook with vegetables that's in season that doesn't just guarantee you the best flavor possible but also saves you so much money because there is an abundance of them because they're in season so it's a win-win in my eyes that is enough talking and let's get cooking so these are the ingredients we're working with today as always they are listed on the screen or in the description and measure it in metrics so it's super easily scalable. First off, we get started with our pearl couscous. To feed two, measure out 50 grams of couscous and top it with 1.5 times of water, so that is 75 grams. Next, we move it to the stove and put it on low heat. Lid on and just let it simmer away to get hydrated and cooked at the same time. No pre-soaking is needed. Back to the workbench and don't forget about the compost bin for food scraps. For the veggies, we cook up with the zucchini. I want to show you a new technique I learned from TikTok. <laughs> Just kidding. Cut off the two ends of the zucchini and into the compost bin. So I think it's really, really important to note that all that needs to be cut out with the zucchini is the very tip and then the very end of the zucchini, which is a little bit too tough to chew. Other than that, everything is edible. So minimal waste that is. Next, slice the zucchini the long way into one centimeter thick cuts to make sure that we honor the texture and meatiness. Once we have our zucchini steaks, Lay them out and we want to score one side of the zucchini. At an angle, work our knife across the zucchini, but don't cut all the way through. Turn the zucchini 60 degrees and apply the same amount of incisions across at a different angle to make like little diamond shapes throughout. At a different angle and we'll do it again. With the score sides up, we now want to salt the zucchini slices to draw out a lot of the moisture. Be generous with our salt, they are not spicy. Oh, just the taste is interesting, but it, it's too spicy. You're, you're eating mayonnaise. So now our zucchini is all nice and salted, we're going to leave it for 15 to 20 minutes for the moisture to be drawn out. So when we char grill it, you'll get that nice and, you know, beautiful char mark on the zucchini. After about 10 to 15 minutes, check in on the couscous. The liquid is almost out in the pot and the little pearls are plumped up and about double the size. Bring it over to the sink to give it a quick rinse to wash off excess starch. Drain it off and into a bowl. Now move on to our tomatoes. These salad tomatoes are juicy AF. And it would be so silly to just scrape out the seeds and waste it. So I'm going to do something I have never seen before, which is use the tomato seeds and turn it into a dressing. Scoop the seeds and juicy bits out of the tomato and into a separate container. Make sure to cut off the stem connection bit and compost. What do you call these belly button things of the fruit? Let me know in the comment section below. With the deseeded tomato, cut them into slices and then into one centimeter cubes to maintain the texture. Mm. 
Next, onion. You can use a red onion for a more mellow flavor if you prefer. Skin into the compost and we want very small dices. Start by thinly slicing the onion across, but not all the way through. Turn 90 degrees and do thin cuts again to achieve small dices. For the size of this onion, a quarter is plenty for today's salad. Into the bowl with couscous and tomato. Give it all a good mix and set aside for now. Onto the salad dressing. Into a blender or mortar and pestle, crush up the tomato seed and turn it into a jammy kind of a consistency. It can stay a little seedy and fleshy. When we get to customs, I'm gonna need you to take these seeds into the bathroom and I'm gonna need you to put them away. It doesn't need to be too homogenized. To give the salad a Middle Eastern flavor profile, I added a spoon of homemade tahini. Season with salt and pepper and a drizzle of olive oil. Give it a mixy mix to combine. I then added a sprinkle of oregano because why not? Mix it through and give it a taste to see if adjustments are needed. It was a bit on the heavy side, so I added some vinegar to lighten it up and some more salt. Last tasting and I'm pretty happy with that. Now these been sitting there for <clears throat> about 20 minutes and we can see you know, some water droplets on top. We can see the salt has done its magic and drawn out a heap of water out of the zucchini. Pat them dry with a cloth kitchen towel instead of wasting paper towels. It's the small things like this that add up. Paper towels don't really do the job any better here and they either go to landfills or take a long time to decompose. I hope this serves as a little influence in your day to day to be just a little more intentional. I know you are already doing a great job. All right, so now our zucchini is all dried off, we're going to bring them over to the stove and give them some really beautiful char mark on them. And that is going to make it so delicious. A wide base pan on medium heat. Oil the pan generously once it's up to temperature. Zucchini in with the scored sides down. Give them a good press to absorb the high heat which is built up. Flip them over once we get to a gorgeous golden color like this and cook the other side until through. I use the side of the pan to toast up some almonds as well. Once the zucchini is soft and cooked through, they can come out. I'm gay! Onto a plate and tidy it up a little bit. To play it up, grab a bowl of couscous, tomato and onion and pile onto your zucchini. Be very generous. It's missing some visual vibrance, so I slice up some kale to give it the pop of color. Kale on. Crush your almonds and sprinkle over. Last but not the least, our salad dressing. Some olive oil and flaky salt to season. The cost breakdown is right on the screen here. All together, one serve of salad costed us $1.40 to make at home. All right, and there we have it. We've got our charred zucchini with couscous all done right here. It's screaming, eat me. So I'm going to dig in and just let you know how it tastes like. This right here, it's such a flavor bomb. The charred zucchini gives it a really good warmth to the salad. We've got the tiny speckles of onion that gives it a really good kick. Combined with the freshness of tomato, works so well with um, couscous. And obviously the garnish of kale just gives it that pop of color. And on top of that, we've got our tahini dressing. If no one told me, I, I mean, I kind of made it, but I wouldn't know. I, it's not really that obvious that, you know, what gives it that really beautiful pink color actually comes from the inner part of the tomato. This 
As a whole, works beautifully. It's hearty, it's refreshing, and as it warms up over here in Australia, this is going to be my go-to salad. All right, that is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you really, really give this a try. Salad doesn't have to be boring, and all these are seasonal vegetables and super, super cheap. And obviously, you know me, I'm here to help you save money. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in a couple of weeks.